Hello again and thank you for joining us on TVC News. We're staying in Tudumbiri community of Kaduna State where more than 80 people were sent to their early graves and several others injured from a military drone attack in an air bombing. And the National Security Advisor Nuru Badu has visited the community to commiserate with the people and assess the situation. Lupe Assam has more. Continue to run deep in Tudumbiri, Kaduna. The community still mourns the loss of 85 individuals killed during an aero bombing incident by the Nigerian Army last Sunday. Many others who sustained injuries are currently receiving treatment in various hospitals across the state. Government and military officials have been actively engaging with the affected community and hospitals to express their condolences and support for the victims and their families. The recent visit by National Security Advisor Nuhu Ribadu, accompanied by Governor Ubasani and Speaker Liman, is to assess the situation on behalf of President Tinubu. It's a tragedy, it's a misfortune, but it has happened. What matters is how do we move forward? What are we going to learn from here? What exactly we need to do? Uh, hopefully, it will not happen again. And I have no doubt in my mind, President Asojibo Lamatinibu is someone who is always serious whenever he made any statement. And this time around, uh, from what is happening, it will never happen again because it has not happened in the past. This will be the last one, and he's going to be serious about the investigation. And within no time, those capable of this uh, incident will be held accountable. During the visit, no Ribadu acknowledged the progress made in addressing insecurity in the northwest and northeast regions. He's urging Nigeria to exercise patience with this administration, which he says inherited the dire security situation. Because we take assessment, every single loss of life is documented, recorded. As a result of the insecurity you are talking about and the banditry and so on, it has gone down considerably, more than 90%. More than 600 people have been released, those who are in captivity for years, as a result of uh, kidnappings. It is happening. And I can assure you, it is going to continue. Most of the things that are ongoing are not things we talk about. It's a matter of time. Nigerians will see the result. But certainly across the country, we are improving. At the burial site, prayers were offered for the souls of the deceased victims. The National Security Advisor reiterated that those indicted at the conclusion of the government's investigation would face appropriate punishments. Lupe Asom, TVC News, Kaduna.